brought to you by Jump in the Channel, a skateboard documentary now playing at dhshredder.com. Well, we got a Myers lemon tree. We moved it over about three feet forward toward the street. The views down there. Uh, this is where the old spot was. That thing just up and died. <laughs> Ground it down with a stump grinder. And we planted this and this bad boy is already sending out some flowers. Myers lemon tree, $30. It probably won't send out any fruit for another year. Right now is the time to plant in the spring and the fall. All right, so we have a Myers lemon tree out here in the desert, Bullhead City, Arizona. And I built this shade box for it and then added the mushroom compost and started to come back alive. It wasn't doing so well. Planted last October of 2019 and you can see it started putting out little shoots but some of them are starting to turn brown the leaves that did grow are curling up and flaking off they're crispy on the ends this one was a nice leaf and it crisp crispied and withered away to nothing this one's doing the same thing it's uh just crispy crispy you got some shoots down below that are nice but as we get up here to the top it starts to do its thing I, I'm not gonna water it anymore but uh, if you look some of it is brown on the tips uh, we got some dieback right here on this one so it's been a challenge uh, the results were good now they're bad now I don't know if they're good I just don't know what the trees doing you know I got a separ separation you know from the, the, the trunk it keeps the mulch off of the base of the trunk it's painted so I don't know what the trees gonna do I'm pretty much fed up with it put a lot of work into it but this is what bothers me the most it's just crisp crispy Crispy, burnt, you know, just crispy. That's it. With a shade box. So the shade box I created out of material that I got from uh, Home Depot. You can see these two items here is in the home garden section. And I. Uh, Hammered it down into the bottom, held it down with some uh, bungee cords to keep the wind, because it's real windy through here. Gives it a shade and a wind protection. It's really cool. Good stuff. I uh, stapled it together with a staple gun and did cross the staples for added strength, you can see. So it's pretty much secured down. The winds come in here pretty hot and heavy and the degree here is sometimes about 115, 120 degrees. So the shade and the heat combined really take its toll. This is what I got going on. You can see the leaves here. They're just curling, drying up and crumbling away to nothing. Um, I don't understand that. It's got the shade, it's got the water. We've got some dieback on some of the ends here. You can see dieback here and more dieback here and there. We got stuff growing, but then when they grow, they start to brown at the tips and then they die away and die back. So it's a really delicate dance between heat, dry, wet water. Um, you can see the dieback on this one here and it's just a struggle. Down here I have something cool going on. It looks like a little bulb. Maybe that's a, maybe that's a lemon. Um, but for the most part, it's a struggle. I'm making this video to get some feedback and share with others and what they're doing with their citrus Myers lemon trees out in the desert. So the question would be is, is how on earth did my beautiful Myers lemon tree go from this to this?
That's right. You're looking at it. No leaves. It's been eight months and it's lost all its leaves. And there's no new leaves growing. And the ones that do are dying. Spring has sprung. And all I've got are four little tiny leaves. And they're curling up, turning crispy, and shriveling off to nothing. With dieback and death. So tell me, Mr. Experts. What's going on with the Myers lemon tree, bro-brah?